Welcome back, guys, and thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Steve, and I'm a realtor in the Los Angeles San Gabriel Valley, and I really appreciate you guys stopping by and taking a listen and look at what I have to say today. I have my coffee in hand. Cheers. Ready to go. So today I wanted to talk about five tips for first-time home buyers, and let's just get right into it, right? First thing is identifying your needs. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you need? Is it you? Is it you and a spouse? Is it you and kids? Is it the mother-in-law coming in with you? A bunch of friends? You know, um, you really need to identify that first part of what is it that you need? Is it you're gonna need a big yard? Do you need a very little yard? Um, do you wanna live in a community with amenities? You know, those are the type of things that you wanna consider. So that would be tip number one. Tip number two is the cost of owning a home. Um, there's all kinds of, depending on where you're living at and what, what you're looking to buy, there's gonna be upkeep, right? Long-term, short-term upkeep and stuff. And these are the things that you wanna be aware of. So, you know, maybe you're gonna live in a community, uh, in a closed community, so there might be some HOA fees, right? Um, maybe you're gonna live in Pasadena where there's a lot of trees, beautiful trees, beautiful streets, but there's gonna be a lot of upkeeping because you got those deep-rooted trees that are going into the pipes. At some point, they're gonna bust those pipes. You know, um, maybe you got, maybe you're buying a, um, you know, a first uh, fixer upper. You know, and, and that roof's gonna be need to be replaced in about five to ten years. So those are the type of little things, big things, long term, short term costs of owning a home. So you want to really, really get an idea as to what it takes to do that. So that's tip number two. So we got identifying your 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 needs, and two would be the cost of owning a home. Now the third thing is start building a savings. You want to start saving because you want to, whether you're going to buy now or if you're going to buy later in the future, there's no right or wrong. The idea is to just to start saving, right? So I can't stress that anymore. You want to come in and not just with enough to put down and to close. You want to have an emergency fund. I'm a big believer in emergency emergency funds. I'm a big believer in paying down debt as much as possible to having no debt whatsoever. Um, but that's just me. Um, it frees up a lot more income for you and it gives you more uh, chance to build wealth and to pay down your home and to have a bigger savings. And that's just my belief and that's the way I live my life. But I, I think it's a great way to do that, right? So, so the third thing is building a savings. Start saving as much as possible. Put that, put that away, put it away, put it away. Because um, the time will come when you are ready to buy and the more you have to put down and to actually use towards closing costs and to have an emergency fund, you're gonna be so glad that you did that. So just a little bit at a time, whether you're starting to buy now or later, just start saving. Okay, so we got identifying the property the type of needs that you have that you need you're gonna do find out what it costs to to own a home right the third thing is building a savings now the fourth thing is gonna be building credit so maybe you don't have any credit because you just never needed the credit right or maybe you got too much credit so now it's a good time to actually start paying down some of that credit cards some of those car loans uh, just for the fact that when you do go buy a home you're gonna to talk to a lender at some point and you're gonna they're gonna run your credit and they're gonna see what you have and what you don't have. And believe it or not, it's just, it works both ways. If you have too much credit, it goes against you. If you have no credit, it goes against you. So just finding out where you're at, um, maybe building some, maybe um, paying down some, it's, it's a good thing. So down below in the description, I'll go ahead and I've done this with some of the other videos. I'll put a link there to where you can go check your credit report and you could actually uh, check your FICO score as well too. So um, great, great tips there. So one, we're identifying the home needs. You're gonna identify the, the cost of what it takes to, to own a home. Um, third is building a savings. Fourth is uh, building credit or reducing credit. And then the fifth thing is researching a loan. What type of loan are you gonna qualify for? Mili maybe you're military and you have a VA loan. So you're gonna to wanna to go talk to a loan broker, a loan, uh, direct loan broker, I can't even talk right now, 
Um, so anyhow, you're going to research alone. What's it going to take? There's a lot of calculators on the internet that you can do. Just can kind of give you an idea. Um, you know, a lot of lenders will actually uh, help you out as far as just kind of talking to you over the phone and giving you an idea. Here, where I work at, or the, where I hang my license at, uh, we have two of them and I actually have some videos. If you guys want to look at those, I have the two one buy down that we're using right now to get uh, first time home buyers or just buyers in general into homes and helping people sell their homes as well. So down below, I have some links to them. Um, so those are your five tips. Identify your needs, the true cost of owning a home, building savings, build credit, and research loans. There's a lot more to it, but those are the five things I recommend doing now, and that'll get you to a point, a good comfortable point as to when you're ready to buy a house, whether it's now, whether it's six months, a year, two years, three, four years from now, you'll, you're, you're gonna be ready. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you had a cup of coffee. Down below in the description, I'll have a lot more, some links to some uh, websites that you can check out. And yeah, have a great one, man. Appreciate it.